Hey guys, you think you can shoot a rifle slug out of a smooth bore shotgun at 100 yards? Well, stick around, we'll find out. Well, hello guys, welcome to another episode of Big R Outdoors. We out here today shooting guns. So we're getting ready for gun season. Old pro staff for Troy, he got this 12 gauge. You might be asking yourself, 12 gauge down there in southeast Texas. Why y'all deer hunting with 12 gauge? We're shooting slugs. Y'all can see, they look pretty good. Y'all can see, it's just regular old 1187, 12 gauge. We put this um, shotgun saddle on it. We got that shotgun saddle on it, mounted us a scope. And we're gonna be shooting Brennicky, rifled slugs. I've shot Brennicky rifled slugs out of a 20 gauge. My oldest boy's first dairy kill was with the 20 gauge with Brennickys. You do your research, the guys up north, if y'all come across it, y'all are gonna know that these are the best slugs to shoot. And that's what I was telling him, so we're gonna do a little experiment. We have got some non-believers. Am I right, Troy? Yeah. Non-believers we have told about saying, nope, gotta have a rifled slug barrel. This is not a rifled slug barrel. This is a smooth bore, regular old bird hunting gun. And that's the whole point of these. You might can see these here. Yeah, you might not can see it too good in there, but the rifling on it. But it shows it on the box. They have mastered the rifling on these slugs. And if you look at Federals and Winchesters and everything else, the ballistics data on Brennickies are just, you can't beat them. I mean, you're talking at 100 yards, it's showing 1.4 inch drop at 100 yards. So we're going to side it in. We're going to start at 25 and we're going to work our way back and we're going to see if this dude can group or what kind of a group we can get at it at 100 yards. So y'all stick around if y'all interested in slugs, especially out of a smooth board. A lot of people's already got shotguns at home. All you gotta do is buy these. You don't need to go buy some big expensive rifle. Now, unless you're shooting three, 400 yards, but we ain't. We out here in this thick brush, 100 yard shot, about the most Troy's got on his stand. So these will be perfect. So y'all stick around. We're gonna see if we can't Hit some steel at 100 yards. These are Brennicky Green Lightning. Like I say, I found these a couple, few, well, a few years ago with a 20 gauge, and they worked perfect. 100 yards with a 20 gauge. Uh, we get done with this. If y'all want to see the 20 gauge video, I might do y'all one on that because it is very interesting. Um, smooth bore Remington 1187. This is not a I can't even get in there to show y'all, but I guarantee y'all this is not a rifled, rifled barrel or nothing. I think it's got a, uh, a modified choke in there. And there's a lot of videos out there about shooting slugs with different chokes. A lot of people think a cylinder bore or an improved cylinder is what you need, but a modified will actually group them better. So that's what's in the gun. Um, these slugs here, they're two and three quarter. That's it. They're, they got some three inch magnums. I don't even think they make a three and a half. Um, but Brennicky, Brennicky USA, I'm telling y'all, they have mastered this. And you can also shoot these in a slug barrel, in a rifled slug barrel. But a two and three quarter inch shell, it's a, what is the grain on it? What did we look it up? It's like, it's a, out there, it's an ounce, one and a quarter ounce slug. One and a quarter ounces. That's a freaking punch. That's almost like getting hit with a truck. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we don't even know where it's at. The bad thing about this gun, if you're shooting it out of a brake barrel, it'll probably be a little better. You could bore side it, but we can't hear. So we're just gonna shoot it 25 yards and we're gonna see where we're at and we're gonna move our scope from there. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, with the, with the Mega Millions up high, 
we hit and this joker's dead on, we're going straight to the store and buy a lottery ticket. All right. Round one. We're a little low. Little low. Little low. Well, she low. did eject. If anybody wants to know. But well, basically, we're just gonna. I was aiming dead center. Just move the crosshairs to the bottom hole, and we should be there. Shoot. All right, we'll shoot us one more. See if I didn't bring us up some. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Zoom in down there. That's two shots. 25 yards. Just zooming in a scope. You can see the, we're 25 yards and daggum green on that joker. We need to come over. Up and, down. up and down is perfect. All right, now. 25 yards. At 25 yards, if we're basically, it says 0.4, but uh, I think 0.5 half ought to be pretty decent. So a half inch high, if we're a half inch high, we're gonna see how accurate this is. It don't really say what barrel length or nothing like that. It might be on their website. You know you got a lot of those. Oh, we shot it out of this barrel and this and this and this, but but it's saying if we're a half inch high at 25 yards, we are be pretty daggone close at 100. We're gonna put one more in. If we're if we're in the 10 ring or in the in the in the middle there, we're uh we're we're going back. Now Troy. I'd call that a half inch high. Yeah, see it. I'm gonna shoot one more at 25, make sure the old Redfield scope holds up. What do you say? Yeah. We're gonna call that pretty daggum decent. Cause the trigger on this dude really ain't like a rifle, so. That's pretty close. We're gonna go back at 50. Now, just cause these two and three quarter don't think they don't pack a punch. I'm hurting already. Look at the hole on that. Ah, God. That's pretty daggum close. I'd call that close enough to half inch high, about an inch. Pretty consistent there. But to um, they might have tested this out of a pump. Now, before everybody gets in the comments and starts freaking out, because I know there's some people out there that just eat, sleep, and breathe just pure guns. I mean, I know somewhat about guns i know a little bit about guns not no big gun nut i'm not going to get into the, the ounces of grain and powder and everything else but i can tell you this about some shotguns that's a semi-automatic so you're going to lose a little bit with the recoil blowing it back you're going to lose a little bit on the blast with these slugs like this now if you do a straight pump you got everything going out on it. You, you should know, you, you ought to know that if you shoot guns. Uh, the recoil on these is gonna be a little less. And you're not gonna get full 100% everything out the barrel because it's blowing back the, uh, the action to reload another shell. Now a pump, we don't have a pump, but if we did, we'd probably be a little bit tighter 
of what the box says. So y'all keep that in mind. 11 is a semi-automatic. I know that a lot of people are going to sh probably shoot these out of pumps. Uh, and there's even, uh, what is it, Savage? It makes it, uh, they make a, rifle, a bolt action slug gun. So there's several slug guns out there that are bolt action. So y'all keep that in mind. We're shooting this out of a semi-automatic. So we're going to lose some out of it. But we're going to see what she does at 100 yards. You'll be impressed. All right, Troy going to shoot her now. We're 50 yards back. <clears throat> His first time to shoot it, so. 50 yards. He said he wanted me to get it on. That way. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm the most steady shot. Yeah, he's not the most steady. If it's all jacked up, we're going to see if it's shooter or gun. <clears throat> so, we'll get to close that bolt. 50 yards. The bolt's open. Huh? The bolt, the bolt's open. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Woo! She's hot! 50 yards. Let's see what she does. <laughs> 50 yards. Let me see if I can zoom in on her. Look at that. And that's a possibility he pulled a little bit. Yeah, I should so like it said. Well, I didn't know. At 50 yards, that's still definitely a dead deer. Now y'all seen that. I didn't take it off. I got a GoPro down there too, so we're gonna see that action. I say put one more. Yeah, because uh and uh, we'll, we'll see where the this. we'll see where the group is on it. All right. And, I'm gonna uh, shoot it the same way, just to where if it is the same. Fifty yards. Fifty yards. Now remember, we got non-believers that saying we got to have rifled slug barrels. And I or guarantee slug. you, we do not have rifled slug barrels. So fifty yards. <clears throat> Shot two. Could have been shooter. I th hold on, let's do one more. <laughs> that could have been shooter. <laughs> I think that's the shooter. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> we call it. We gonna see if that's shooter. The trigger is a little, uh, little, t a little tight. Come on, shooter. I think it's this thing. What's that? This stand. The stand? I think it's the stand. It's the stand now. It's the stand. It's the stand. We got excuses. <laughs> hey, oh, you shoot you it. Want me to shoot it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> We're going to see what it is. Y'all leave a comment down below. It's already, see it already reared down. If it's stand or if it's shooter. Could be scope. Could be scope. We got a red field on it. We got a, a fairly cheap scope. What we tried to do with this video, folks, was as well as just sighting, you know, shooting a 12 gauge for y'all. But times is hard right now. We in the, uh, the times of the Bidenomics, you know, country is, uh, but I probably don't need to tell y'all that it's just junk. So, if you've already got a 12 gauge at home, which most people do, I think we got four. Yeah. Troy had four 12 gauges. And uh, we are gonna buy a new rifle. We built a stand, had to buy a lot of stuff for, for hunt season. So I told him, hey, you already got 12 gauge. Shoot some slugs out of it. So, we did that, we found this little saddle for what was it, 20 bucks? Uh, yeah, 20, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Good little saddle here for the scope. And he bought a Redfield scope. Cheap little Redfield scope. So we could be scope. 
we're trying to get out of this a budget friendly build as they say budget friendly build so but i have seen him shoot in the past <laughs> and it ain't the greatest so it could be shooter i don't think it's the, 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 the tripod but we're gonna shoot it here i'm gonna shoot it we're gonna see if i can't do no better my beast go my beast go I am used to a little more hair trigger though. You gotta pull on that you gotta, boy. You gotta pull on it. It's one of them you're gonna have to pull on it. Send it. To the right? Because right. two of mine were to we're the right. right yeah. I don't know what happened on that one. To we're the at left. 25 yards, it's hard to. Yeah. We should be back on that. <laughs> yeah, 25 yards will get you close. 50 gonna tell you the truth. But up and down is perfect. Could be scope. Could be shooter. <laughs> Could be shooter. Little to the left, maybe give it a... That's on it. Huh? That's on it. I hit right above 10 ring. <laughs> two outside, two above it. The first one was to the right. We did have to tighten her in a little bit. That was my shot. Well, my top right one right there was mine, and then the little one on the left right there was my second shot. So, we're gonna play a little game. How far off am I gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's dead bull's eye, babe. That is bull's eye! Look at that, folks. That's a dead deer at 50 yards for sure. Cut! We're gonna call that good. We're gonna go back 75. I think she's a little more zeroed in now. We're gonna go down yeah. there and put some black dots on her because I don't know what happened on that second shot. Well, you, you pulled it. That's all right, though. Well, you're gonna have that. I think you hit one of them love bugs. And it deflects. Oh. She's hot. Dang. Looks like it's low. If you come shoot it one time before we <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying before we before we mess before with it. Before we move it, we're gonna make sure. She is a little low. Gonna let the old sharpshooter. Old sharpshooter. We are a little low there. But like I say, y'all gotta remember before y'all start. How we knew it. Like I said, it's a semi-automatic. This was a single shot, break barrel, 20, uh, 12 gauge or a, a pump. You probably get a lot different results. Yours looked a little higher. A little higher than you. It still ain't uh I don't think it I think it's just uh like I'm saying it's it's a little low, so it should be an inch high. It don't tell you what gun they used on here, so it's 75 yards. I mean that's a dead deer, regardless your shot or mine. Yeah. So, you should be, 50, even at 50 yards, you should be good. At 25, I mean, you, you freaking shoot a slug at 25 yards anywhere in the vitals. If we can hit that 8-inch plate and ring it at 100 yards, that deer's dead. It's an ounce and a quarter slug. Just the sound of it coming at that deer is going to make him piss himself. He's going to be like, oh. You got the up. I got the up. It's hanging left. I mean, that's a pretty good 75. That's a pretty tight group. Let's see if I shoot right. Huh? Let's see if I shoot right. 
Yeah, you might shoot right. Yeah, I've been, it's, it seems like I've been shooting to the right. I mean, that's not bad. You Smooth bore. Smooth bore. Hold on a minute. Smooth bore. 75 yards. There might be some guns out there that are tighter. I mean, that's not terrible. We know that we wasn't going to get just straight on three shot groups with the holes touching at 75 or 100 yards. It's a smooth bore shotgun. We understand that. We know that. But that that's a pretty good, at 75 yards, that's not bad. Oh my God, Troy. You wouldn't even own it. You next oh shot at him. Hold on, let's do that again. We're going to have to edit that I one can't. out. I don't even think you hit the board. You shot like way left. Like you didn't even hit the board. My God. I seen the trees left hit it. Hit left. We didn't have the camera rolling. I think the GoPro turned off down there. but oh, I'm, I'm sure I just did. stacked three. Real good. Me? Not One time so Troy went about a foot right. <laughs> and then the other time he went about two foot left. So, um, shooter. It's, just, it's a shooter. It's a shooter error. It's a shooter error. Shooter error. Shooter error. So he shoot one more and we're going to see what we do. Oh, you hit the target. Huh? You hit the target. <laughs> I just think it's the position I'm shooting in. I ain't comfortable. I ain't comfortable. I ain't comfortable. I can't grab the front of my gun like normal. Well, that, that matters a lot. So I think I think we're good at 75. Like I say, we shot a little left. We're gonna leave it. We got a plate. We got about an eight inch of steel plate. We're gonna go hang that. Probably gonna have to move our target back some, and we're gonna try to get a hundred out of it, just so y'all can hear some steel ringing at a hundred. We really thought we had more of a range here, but um, oh yeah, we don't. <laughs> but like I said, this is a semi-automatic gun, smooth bore, rifled slugs, and that group out of a smooth bore at 75 yards. That ain't terrible. I don't think it's terrible. There might be somebody out there that could get it a lot tighter, a lot better. I'm not arguing that point. But I'll tell you, that's a dead deer at 75 any day. And it shooter does matter. Shooter matters a lot. I've put three within, what, two-inch group? Troy's put three within a three-foot radius. So, But that's just Troy. Y'all, y'all just you got to know him. You know, he's also camera shy a little bit, so he's shooting on camera. Um, he thinks I'm going to edit all this out, but that ain't happening. He's he, it's going on there. It's going on there. So he's down there right now, clearing us out of shooting lane, so we can get a hundred out of it. Doing good. I got him for that. You know, he's shooting. It's horrible. Well, okay, guys. After reviewing all the video, um, trying to edit this video out on this shotgun, I noticed that when we got back out at 100 yards, there was a critical part of the video that did not get recorded. My cameraman did not hit the record button. I have audio on it, but I have no video of it. Um, and also... Going through all this, I noticed that <clears throat> the wind that day was stupid. Y'all pay attention to the background because I really didn't notice that that day we was there, I guess, trying to video and, and everything that was going on. I really didn't pay attention until I started watching all this back. But the wind that day was stupid. I'm talking the grass is laid over sideways. We're talking probably 20-something mile an hour gusts. So when we got out at 100 
it, you know, you can see in the 75 yard shot, I shot it real good. Uh, Troy did not, but I did. And the wind really didn't affect it at 75. But out at 100, um, I was shooting foot, foot and a half low, and foot and a half, two feet left. And that's the way the wind was blowing from the white right to the left that day. And it was blowing that shot off at 100 yards. Um, so wind is going to definitely play a big factor in this, you know, but it's also shooting a lot slower with a big chunk of lead to be pushed than what a normal rifle would shoot. I might have to go back and revisit this at no wind and see what will happen at 100 yards. But one part of the video, we actually had put another target up and I had shot that. The wind had died down when I had shot and I was able to put two slugs on that target. I think those targets are eight, 10 inch targets, uh, maybe 12 inches. And I was able, able to put two, they were low, but I put two, tar, uh, put two slugs on that target at a hundred yards. And that's the part that did not get recorded. I think I got a picture uh, of it when I shot the plate. Um, but with no wind, little to no wind, yeah, the, the ballistic data for the smoothbore semi-automatic 1187 was not what it showed. Like I said, well, I was about six, seven inches lower. But 100 yards, no wind, a deer, even six inches low, you're going to hit it. Seven inches, eight inches low, you're going to hit that deer, and that deer is going to be dead. Um, but wind will play a factor there, so keep that in mind. We're gonna go 75. See if we can't ring a steel to 75. Here we go. <laughs> 75, baby. Well, we love a a little disappointed on our 100 yard shot. We hit still at 75. So, we're pretty sure that his uh, feeders are less than 75. So, your father's shot in there might be 75, honestly. 80, I'd go that shot. I really think with it being a semi-automatic, it took a lot out of the, the power of the bullet going down there at 100 and it kind of throwed it off. But hey, if you guys are 75 and under with a semi-automatic 12 gauge, a two and three quarter inch slug, you got them. There's no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind at 75 and under. Probably 80, we'll call it 80 and under because I shot three good groups, or three good shots within probably three inch group. That's, that's pretty tight with a slug. Well, the smooth bore, shotgun these are rifle slugs smooth bore shotgun at 80 and under i'm very confident you can shoot anything with it we're gonna call that good i think 75 and under. yeah 75 75 80 and under and you you got some moss made down there and a stand or maybe maybe up in a tx5 custom gear saddle you up in a tx5 custom gear saddle 75 and under on some moss made attractants, you're gonna have yourself a heck of a buck. Or a deer in general. Just whatever you're after. But hey, I think that's gonna conclude it. Uh, 1187, cheap scope, old Redfield, three by nine, with a shotgun saddle, with Brennicky, green lightning, two and three quarter slugs, dead deer on the ground i guarantee you so hey that's gonna be me pro staff for troy right here with big r outdoors keep it bougie people